after drinking wine for years, I have drunk wine out of everything from jelly jars to $400 glasses and everything in between. You may be at a point where you're getting ready to buy your first set of matching glasses. Or maybe you're in the process of relegating your vineyard logo glasses to the basement or a closet. You could be filling in on a glass set that has lost a glass or two over the years or are adding onto your existing sets of glasses. Regardless, you're now toying with the idea of getting some wine glasses and are not sure what direction to go. If you don't have a plan, you could end up with something you don't want or like. That's what we're going to help you with. We're going to briefly consider the number of glasses you need, the storage space, the types you should get, and your finances. Let's start with how many glasses you're going to need. A guideline is how many people in your household drink wine? Is it just you? Two of you? Are there more? How much entertaining do you do? How many people do you typically entertain at a time? Going hand in hand with your entertainment habits is the number two factor. How much space do you have and how much space do you want to allocate to your glasses? Do you have enough cabinet space? The amount of storage space and height of your shelves is a consideration. Before you start looking, check to see if you can adjust the height of your shelves. Do you plan to invest in built-in cabinets or racks or movable racks? Will the rack be under the counter or on the wall? Will they be glass, metal, or wooden? By the way, this is an entire video that you need to be on the lookout for. The third consideration is what type of glasses should you get? By the way, you may want to check out my video, The Types and Shapes of Wine Glasses and how that affects the taste of wine. There we'll look at glasses for Chardonnay, Cabernet, Merlot, Pinot Noir, and a lot more. Uh, that video will definitely help you. Unless you're buying for a special occasion, like a formal dinner party, or are going to have people over for a wine tasting, or just to get together, I tend to go with the glasses that I like versus the social norm. It's okay to go with your personal preferences. When I first started going to wineries, typically I'd get a glass or two from each of the wineries that I visited. While these are fun to collect, I found that these glasses were great for wine on the patio, but not so good when I had friends over for a nicer dinner. So when looking for glasses, look for a glass that you like, that are visually appealing to you. Don't hesitate to invest a little time in comparing glasses. Do you like big oversized glasses or smaller ones? I suggest you stay away from glasses that have decals or lots of etching or colorful designs. Those go out of style fairly quickly. Classic, clear glasses stand the test of time. For me, that's the way to go. Now when you're shopping, don't hesitate to pick them up. That's really important. Pick them up. It's okay to use wine glasses that feel good in your hand and on your lips. Feel the weight and the texture of the glass in your hand. Do you like the heavier and more substantial glass or a light, delicate glass in your hand? The fourth thing to consider is your finances. You can literally get almost anything you want in virtually every price category. <laughs> well, except crystal. If you're not in any hurry, check out estate sales. They frequently have some great prices. However, Typically, you'll find smaller glasses from previous eras at estate sales. That means if you like smaller, more delicate glasses and are on a budget, garage or estate sales may be the ticket. They're always worth a look. You know, as you can see, there are a number of things to consider. But don't let it overwhelm you. In the main scheme of life, this is a really pretty small decision. Allow it to be an adventure and you'll have a great time finding just the right glasses. Well, there you have it. The things you need to consider when buying your wine glasses. If you like this video or have any more questions, let me know 
in the comments below. Subscribe, also ring the bell to turn on notifications to make sure you never miss out on these weekly wine tips. Folks, I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. I look forward to you joining me on Facebook and Instagram, linked below. Until next time, cheers.